Now the number system that we're used to using in everyday life is called the real numbers. The real numbers, they span from minus infinity to plus infinity with everything in between. Now one of the things that makes the real numbers so useful is that we can always add, subtract, multiply, and divide any two real numbers. So you might ask, well, what kinds of number systems could there be out there which generalize the real numbers, whereby you can always add, subtract, multiply, and divide? Well, it turns out that there's only four of these very special number systems. They're called the real numbers, the complex numbers, the quaternions, and the octonions. Now, the real numbers, they're used pretty much everywhere in physics, and uh, they were believed to have been discovered by at least 500 BC. Now, it took roughly 2,000 years before an Italian mathematician named Cardano came to discover the complex numbers. But it's a good thing that he did, because the complex numbers ended up being central to this revolutionary new theory in physics. Now, by the mid-1800s, Gauss and then Hamilton found the quaternions. And it's fairly straightforward to show that the quaternions underlie the structure of Einstein's special relativity. Now, the same year that the quaternions were found, so were the octonions. But in the 174 years since they were discovered, the octonions have not been found to be central to any major theory in physics. It's a little hard to believe, though, that nature would rely so heavily on the first three of these number systems, and yet that it would forget about the fourth. 